Now that we've finished building our frames and supers, we can assemble our 10th hive. A typical hive rests on two concrete blocks to prevent soil contact with the wood. Always prop the bottom board forward to allow moisture drainage out the entrance. On top of the bottom board go two hive bodies, that is the deep supers. These provide egg laying space for the queen and they're the heart of the colony. Bees naturally place brood, that is their developing young bees, downward in the brood nest and then surround them above and to the sides with an insulating layer of honey. There are two types of covers on beehives. The first is an inner cover, which provides insulation with a dead air space. The second is a heavier outer cover, which is simply a weather barrier. Beekeepers should never harvest honey from this brood nest. Instead, we provide space for surplus honey by adding shallow supers, as seen here. As the season progresses, we add more shallow supers to accommodate the incoming nectar. These shallow supers represent the honey that can be harvested by the beekeeper. For starting a brand new apiary, such as this one, we only need one hive body per colony. And now for some more honey and bee trivia. The Italian honeybee, Apis mellifera ligustica, is the most popular bee in the United States. Now that we've finished setting up our equipment, but before we install the bees, we have to mix up some feeds and medication. To encourage fast population growth, we'll feed the colony's protein supplement in the form of pollen substitute patties. Could you use some help? Sure I could. To begin with, we need a mixture of expeller processed soy flour and brewer's yeast. Thank you. Next, we'll have to add to this a syrup of two parts sugar and one part water. Two parts sugar and one part water. Tell you what, Mary, could you go ahead and start mixing up the next batch of syrup and I'll start making some patties. We'll have to mix up a lot of syrup because we're going to use this same concentration later to feed the bees in liquid form. Mixing this stuff is a little touch and go. But what we're trying to get is a thick, pasty consistency. Mary, I think I'm going to need some more powder. Okay. Go ahead and tear the wax paper. Yeah, go ahead. This stuff smells as bad as it looks. This is about the right consistency that we're looking for. Because this stuff is so messy, it's good to handle it with wax paper.
We just put it in the paper and then press it out in a flat patty form. These patties can then be frozen and kept in the freezer until they're needed. Well, I'm glad that messy job's over. We're going to have to protect our colonies against brood diseases, such as American or European fowl brood. Well, where's the powdered sugar? It's up over the sink. Oh, good. We're going to use the antibiotic teramycin. Oh, thanks. I'm going to need something to mix this with. To prepare this, we're going to mix this whole six ounce package of teramycin with two and a half pounds of powdered sugar. This will be fed to the bees in a dry state. We need to ensure that the colonies will not get Nozema disease. Nozema is a parasite in the digestive tract which can severely slow colony growth. Fumidil B is an antibiotic which can protect the colonies from Nozema. Following the label instructions for 10 colonies, We'll mix half of this bottle, or one gram, of Fumadil B into one quart of warm water. And then pour the medication mixture into the tank of sugar syrup. and then mix. Because we want each of our 10 colonies to get a gallon of syrup, we've mixed up 10 gallons of sugar syrup. The syrup medication mixture goes into quart jars. These perforated lids fit into the Boardman feeders at the entrance to the hives. Our young colonies will get this sugar syrup and Fumadil B mixture as soon as they are installed into the new hives. The syrup provides carbohydrate for fast population buildup. Today you've seen a glimpse of the rich history of beekeeping and seen how to get ready to keep bees yourself. In our next program, we pick up the bees at the post office, install them in the hives we built, check their progress, make sure the queens are functioning properly, and give them routine medications. Thanks for watching and I look forward to our next visit.